So we're just gonna do a quick demo on how to make a, a rigatoni dish that's really similar to uh, Carbone's uh, vodka cream sauce. Um, so I know that's a famous dish. We've got really good tomato sauce at the club that we're using from Karma Farms that we made with their tomatoes. Uh, so we'll make a quick dish out of that. Uh, so we have our sauce. We have ounce, two ounces of vodka, some Calabrian chili peppers in oil, uh, some uh, rigatoni, uh, some Parmesan cheese, some butter, some heavy cream, some oil, some onion. Um, I think they actually use Pecorino Romano, but I don't have any on hand, so we're just going to go with Parmesan. We'll get close either way. Uh, we would use about a half an onion. There is a little onion in our sauce, but we're going to bump it up a little bit. So we just want to really finely dice this. Does it matter if it's finely diced? No. Is it a good way to practice your knife skills? Absolutely. Um, so we'll, we'll take this onion down in the real nice small dice so you can't taste or feel the onions, uh, but we do want to put that flavor in there. Um, so with slicing the onion, we're going to slice, uh, we want to leave the stem on, or the root side actually, and then cut out the bottom off and then cut it in half. We're going to cut some vertical slices this way, some horizontal slices this way, and then we'll dice it this way. Um, so it's going to look like this. So vertical slices this way. Keep those fingers back so you don't take off the tip of your finger. And then we're going to do a horizontal slice this way to get the right size. You go almost all the way back until you get to the root. We'll clean up those edges in a second. And then from here you slice down. Just a really nice fine dice. This is obviously easier if you have a nice sharp knife. really nice fine dice here. Alright, so we've got water back here that's been lightly salted, rolling boil, we're going to add our pasta to it. Box says 10 to 11 minutes, probably going to do about 9 minutes. We're going to make sure we finish cooking it in the sauce for the right texture. Here we've got a nice uh, big skillet that can fit all the cooked pasta and the sauce at the same time. We're going to mix it all together at a certain point. It's been on low heat just for a little bit. We're going to add uh, some olive oil into it and sweat down the onions. We're not looking to get any color here, we're just looking to sweat it down. Pasta, a little stir in there, make sure it's not stuck together. So the timer real quick. Probably 8.30 at this point. We'll let it go. Okay, now that we've let these onions uh, sweat down a little bit, Got nice and soft, they're almost translucent at this point. It's been a couple minutes. Uh, we're gonna add our vodka at this point. There's gonna be people, people say you don't need to add it, and there's gonna be people say you do need to add it. Uh, I like it with it. Uh, I can't tell you exactly what it does, but I feel like I can taste the difference. Um, so we do want to pull this off of the heat or at least turn off the flame just in case it decides to uh, follow, follow the vodka up to your hand. Uh, so we're going to turn off the heat, add our vodka, we'll turn back on the heat, and it'll light. Let that burn off real quick. At this point we can add our tomato sauce.
start with a tablespoon of the Calabrian chilies. Um, in terms of adding anything to a uh, soup or stew or sauce or whatever, you can always add more, you can't take it out. So we'll taste this, we'll see if we like the spice level. If we think we need to add more, we'll add it. Uh, but if you add too much to start, you'll never be able to get it out. We'll also add our heavy cream at this point. I'd say you probably need about a cup of heavy cream. We're just looking for a pinkish hue on this. Uh, the tomatoes we did use for this sauce are called sunrise tomatoes. They're uh, more orange and yellow than red. Uh, so it won't look exactly the same as Carbone's recipe by any means, but Flavor-wise, we're going to be in the same uh, zip code. We're going to let this come up to a boil, uh, and then we'll, we'll add pasta and pasta water here in a minute, and we'll finish off the sauce. All right, so we're timer for pasta's getting ready to come off, go off. Uh, what we want to do is we want to save a little of the pasta water. Uh, it has starch in it, which is going to help make our sauce a little bit more uh, viscous and stick to the pasta, which is what we want. Nice coating. Uh, so our timer's going on. We're going to grab a small ladle of this pasta water. Just three or four ounces, not a lot. We'll bring that into the sauce. That'll help thicken it up a little bit. Meanwhile, we'll drain our pasta in a colander of the sink. sauce. We'll give it a stir. So the pasta is a little undercooked at this point, um, but it's going to continue cooking the sauce and thicken it up as well. So just keep stirring it, let it thicken up a little bit. At this point, we're going to add a little bit of butter and a little bit of cheese. Just a couple tablespoons of butter to help make it nice and velvety. Sprinkle some of our cheese in here and then we'll top, top it the pasta with more cheese at the end. Give this a nice stir. So my phone actually overheated and the camera turned off, but uh, as I was stirring. So we stirred this pasta until the butter was all incorporated and melted. Cheese is the same. Um, we've got a nice texture at this point. Um, we do want to taste everything, make sure it tastes good. This is our opportunity to fix it. Um, after the camera overheated, I'd already added a little bit more salt just because, uh, but I thought the spice level was good. We didn't need to do anything. So I think we're kind of where we want to be here. Nice spice from the peppers. Uh, salinity, the salt level's good. Uh, texture's good. So now we'll plate up. Alright, so just plate this up. Not difficult by any means. Um, scoop it in the bowl here. Probably three good scoops is a nice sized portion. We'll add some cheese on top. You're good to go. That was one pound of pasta and one quart of sauce. Probably have four to six portions in here. Um, super delicious dish. Uh, really hearty if you want to add some shrimp or chicken in there. Crab would be incredible. 
uh, all, all really great options um, for this dish and, and I hope you enjoy and I hope you, you get out and you make it and you do the darn thing and enjoy yourself.